Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 20, Right and Wrong, Part 3. So last episode, or should I say two episodes before, we saw Nanami get killed by Mahito. And in the last episode, we saw Nabora get killed by Mahito. So that motherfucker took out two of the main characters in front of Yuji. So yeah, Yuji, mm, I'm pretty sure Yuji is going to be the one to kill Mahito in this episode. I really, really fucking hope he does. I am so sick of Mahito and I really really hope that either Yuji or Sukuna kills him. But since we didn't really leave off on a cliffhanger last episode, it was just kind of like Nabora's death. For this episode, I just hope that Yuji fights Mahito and kills him, or maybe Sukuna does. Who knows? I don't fucking care. I just want him dead. But uh, for now, let's see the aftermath of two big deaths. And let's see what Yuji's exact reaction will be. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, this could be Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 20, Right and Wrong, Part 3. Let's go. Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Oh. Ooh. oh no! You've really gone and done it now, Kugisaki. I'm pretty sure this shirt belongs to Gojo. It'll wash out, just soak it in water. Okay, so between Ijichi, who left us in charge of this freshly cleaned shirt, oh my god, and me, who spilled coffee on it, who's more at fault? You. you. <laughs> exactly. Don't what? Pat it down. Pat it down. I'm working on it. I think you use bleach to get that out, right? It's a white shirt, so it's not gonna stain it. It's just white. I don't know. I don't really do laundry like that. It's just I don't really get stains like that either. <laughs> I'm sure it's a cheap shirt anyway. Just get some stain remover. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna buy a new shirt? <laughs> Whoa. After tax? Before tax. Good morning. He's not gonna really care. I had my shirt cleaned? Is he? <laughs> Megumi, what's the matter? Nothing at all. Oh, it's in his shirt. <laughs> if anything, shove it in the Bora shirt. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, she's dead. That's crazy how he did that to her. He barely touched her. He kind of like just like what, slapped her face? That was all that he needed to do? That's nuts, bro. Oh my god. Kukisaki. Come on, pop off. Kill that motherfucker. Yep. How many deaths has he witnessed? I really am. I truly am. Don't do it. A curse! Don't do it. Don't do it. Black flash! Oh, he got that hit on him. Wow. Jeez. That's what you thought you'd be doing when you came down here, wasn't it? Damn little brat, you're so naive! Jeez. I know he's in shock and he's still mourning and grieving, but wow. I'm kind of surprised he's letting Mahito do this. Like, not fighting back. But like I said, I know he's still mourning. Come on, Sukuna, Sukuna, Sukuna. Just as I kill people without a second thought. You save people without a second thought. Representing my mere opposite. The instincts of a curse versus the so-called dignity gained by Something's gonna reason. happen, man. This is a war to determine which of those will be left standing a century from now. Either Sukuna or Yuji's about to pop off. Yuji's about to pop off. I feel I feel like Sukuna's gonna stay out of this. Unless he tries to touch his soul again. It's not gonna happen. Where'd he go? Did he just Where'd he go? Yeah, all right. Is he behind the you? Bells of the Gion Monastery in India. Wait, what? Echo with the warning that all things Toto? are permanent. That what flourishes must fade. Who the fuck else? That clap man. Kill this bitch. Sorcerers like us are the exception. Kill him. Kill him. Save your brother and kill him. Okay, so 
Yuji's really not gonna fight, it looks like. I mean, Mahito beat the shit out of him, man. And I really don't blame Yuji, really, for that happening. Because he literally just witnessed his best friend die right before him. He witnessed, I guess you can say, like a mentor, a teacher, a friend kind of thing die too. Within a very short time. I don't exactly know how time works in these episodes, but I would assume that shit happened within an hour of each other, man. So I get, like, why Yuji wasn't fighting back. He was still more he was still grieving and coping and all that stuff still processing what the hell he just witnessed but here comes Toto literally out of the fucking blue where the hell did this motherfucker come from and where has he been okay so it looks like Toto is gonna go toe to toe with Mahito and I hope he kills him I hope he doesn't hold back I hope he sees the condition that he left Yuji in and he looks at him and be like you hurt my brother I'm about to kill you now I hope he doesn't hold back and I hope he kills this motherfucker and this is the last time we see Mahito I'm done with him but for now let's see how Toto fights him these people they are alive aren't they Oh, so the box has moved. It looks like Suguru Gato has already left with Gojo trapped inside the prison realm. Yep. You're kidding me. Uh. Time for us to switch gears. Our goal has changed from fighting to reclaim Satoru Gojo to fighting to save our allies and shave away as much of the enemy force as possible. My brother should already be nearby. <laughs> he has a brother? Yeah, right. I could have sworn he was an only child. He is. He is. Don't worry, you're not wrong. Toto, I'm all finished treating that girl who's over there. Although, I think she might already be dead. Huh. So please don't go blaming me later if I'm right. Enough blabbering. See to my brother, too. Wake up, brother! Our battles side by side are just beginning! A scary thought. I can't fight anymore. He's done. He suffered way too much. I'm nothing more than a murderer! It's true. Okay, they fixed it. What I thought was my conviction was just an excuse I made for myself. He was crying this way, but he was lying down. If you're crying, it's gonna cry this way. But they fixed it. That's not the important thing right now, though. But... Brother, you're a man amongst men. Don't limit yourself to such narrow-mindedness. We are Jujutsu sorcerers. Me. You. Kugisaki. Mr. Nanami. And all of our allies. We are all Jujutsu sorcerers. As long as we continue to live, our friends who have passed away will not truly have been defeated. Good. I like that. You cannot stop moving forward. That is the one punishment imposed on those of us who live as Jujutsu sorcerers. Okay, I like Toto. I like the speech that he's giving him. It's really like awakening something in Yuji again. Whoa. Whoa. I have just applied my technique on you. The wounds that you have suffered so far will not become any worse. Toto's younger brother doesn't resemble him at all. <laughs> it's not really his brother, dude. Girl over there, I gave her the same treatment you have. She didn't have a pulse and wasn't breathing, but I don't think it's been very long. Her chances for survival aren't zero. I'm taking her with me and getting out of here. Oh, maybe she lives. Oh, does he save her? Does she actually live? No way. Her fucking head just got blown off. Not literally, but like her eye. Like she looked dead. I would be very surprised if she makes it through. Come on, Toto. Thank you. Use all that power and muscle to kick this guy's ass. That power, man. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't beat it. You'll have to do better than that to touch me. Also, just because he claps doesn't mean he uh, switches places too. You take it from here. Jeez. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Please let him be dead. Please let him be dead. I'll be sure to take on your share of suffering too, Nanami. No, he didn't die. How do you even kill something like Mahito, to be honest? Because he's just constantly regenerating, like... Of course. Back, brother. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so hold on a second. So now they're teasing that Nibora could possibly survive that attack. Because like I said, 
She looks dead, man. I'm pretty sure they said she has no heartbeat and she's not breathing. That basically means you're dead, like medically. So how would that guy be able to bring her back or heal her or whatever? Because he did say like, you know, there's a very small chance that she's not dead and all that stuff. I don't know how that would work. I don't know. So maybe Nabora isn't dead dead. Maybe she's dead for now, but I don't know if they're gonna like use some sort of like reverse curse technique or something to bring her back. I don't even know if that's possible. I have no idea. But they're floating this idea that she could possibly come back, so maybe we'll see her again, and maybe she's the one who kills Mahito if Toto and Yuji don't. I really hope they do. But okay, so Toto is now joining the fight, and now Yuji's back in the fight. So we're gonna see a two-on-one fight with Mahito versus Toto and Yuji. So let's see if Mahito can actually put up a decent fight against these two, or is Toto's like switching power going to throw him off completely, and he's not gonna be able to beat him. I highly doubt they're gonna defeat Mahito in this episode because, you know, it's in the middle of the episode and I highly doubt they're gonna finish him off that quickly. But hopefully, I am hoping, like I said, he dies soon. I hope it's by next episode, but probably not, unfortunately. I feel like the way Mahito is going to die, it's gotta be like a really big thing, you know? It's not gonna be like a spur of the moment or some shit. It's gonna be like a pretty decent showdown before he dies, basically. But for now, let's see how Toto and Yuji handle Mahito. Matters should be settled already. There's no point in going How many to communicators does he have? Like little back. things. Am I that useless? Does she know that he's dead? Tell me the truth. The situation isn't even on that scale anymore. It wasn't just you. It was my Kamo, Nishimiya, and Utahime, too. I took steps to make sure you all were on a mission south of Kyoto on the 31st. Why didn't you say anything to us? Why didn't you ask us for help? He couldn't drag you guys into it. I went about it the wrong way because I was weak. And I couldn't even see that mistake through because I was weak. I think she knows that he's dead. That's the only way that she can talk to him or part of him at least an AI version of him at least there was someone who I loved and I didn't care what happened to the world as long as I could be at her side and protect her it's her god that's a horrible way to find out that he loves you back that's so sad yeah they never got to be together and that's all she has left of him too it's not even really him it's an AI of him time's up Miwa <laughs> Please don't say goodbye! Miwa. Pick up Miwa! Mm hmm. Please try to find some happiness. As long as you're happy, my dearest wish in life will have come true. <sighs> that was his energy, like his spirit, yeah, sitting in that chair. <laughs> Damn, they all know, yeah. I'm surprised the, the blood manipulator is not there. Doesn't matter. I mean, after all, the man is dead. It's hard to realize that he held us in such low regard. So then I guess he's saying that we would have died then? Yeah, you guys would have. Oh, murder whoever makes my cute junior cry. Damn, that's sad as fuck. <laughs> Come on, both of them, finish him off, please. He split apart. Mm-hmm. It's a difficult power to defeat, man. And I'm talking about Toto's power. Because it's just so unpredictable. Because remember, just because he claps doesn't mean that he trades places. It seems that top knot gorilla's soul is still functioning at full strength. Jesus. Can I kill him with one touch in my current state? I don't know about that. On the other hand, Itadori's soul is down to about 10%. And my own soul is down to about 40%. Damn, that's all? Fuck. Itadori's rush of black flash attacks took a lot out of me. Good. And it's all because of that stupid girl. The one that you fucking killed? She was a asshole. Nobody, but she still left her damn mark behind. Yeah, if she was nobody, then she wouldn't have affected you. Switcher first. God. Like, I was never, like, a huge fan of Nabora, but I hate Mahito much more, and it's like... You're saying that she's a nobody, and yet she did a shit ton of damage to you, so I don't think she's a nobody. I think he's just hating. Damn, that was smart. Jeez, he's just using these people, man. That's crazy. 
Yeah. That's crazy. His power is way too... It's just too overpowered, like, his abilities and stuff. Like I said, how do you defeat something like him? You would have to defeat, like, his core or some shit if he has one. Ooh! Bitch. Nice. He's like, I'm ready. Black Flash. Do it again. Is it gonna clap and it's gonna replace him? Whisker's spirit is already landing Black Flash too. Yep, I knew it. The one being left behind right now. I knew it. He was gonna clap trade places with the rock. Finish him off. Yes. That should do it. Did he land it? I don't think he did. It doesn't matter how powerful your attack is, or if you throw out a black flash. Your attack has no effect on me if you can't hit my soul. Yeah. Okay, so you have to kill his soul in order to kill him. He's getting into high gear. Alright, and that was episode 20 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, Mahito, he's not dead. Like, I, I didn't think they were gonna kill him off this quickly in this episode. But, uh, Toto and Yuji, they're putting up a quite of a fight, man. It's not easy to beat them, and it's also not easy to beat Mahito because he's just super over-fucking-powered. Like, anything you toss at him, he just, like, regenerates. So it's like... How the fuck do you beat something like that? And he mentioned like his soul or something, as long as my soul isn't damaged or whatever. I didn't even know he had a fucking soul. How the hell do you kill that then? I feel like you would have to get something like Mahito in order to defeat Mahito or something just crazy overpowered like Gojo or Sukuna level, you know? But we are leaving off with Mahito versus Yuji and Toto still. It looked like for a second that those two were gonna win actually, but you know, Mahito's Mahito and you know, he's a tough one to kill, man, unfortunately. But if I remember correctly or if I'm keeping track correctly, probably not. I think he's the last curse, isn't he? Because Joko's dead. I think the tree one, Hanami, whatever the fuck the name is, that one's dead. There's Choso, but I don't think Choso's a curse. He's just a like a cursed human like you know he's actual person basically and then there's the fake gato but you know he's not really of a curse he's like like i said he's just a human to has cursed or is bad whatever he's not like an actual curse curse like mahito i think mahito is the only one left so hopefully this one dies the question is who kills him again like i said it's got to be either like sukuna or gojo level or maybe yuji pulls it off himself i have no idea but for next episode we're just gonna continue the fight and see where it goes, see who else gets involved. And let's see if we see any familiar faces that we haven't seen in a while. And I'm talking about, let's see if we see possibly Gato again. We'll see some scenes of him and what he's doing. Because the box is not in the crater anymore, so he picked that shit up and left somewhere. And again, Choso's still floating around, so I wonder if he's gonna turn up again. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions. And again, Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.